I apologize in advance because I'm pretty sure I'm about to butcher his name. Fyodor Cherkazin versus Gilbert Venegas Jr. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd uh, really appreciate it. So this fight between uh, Cherkazin and uh, Venegas is uh, scheduled to take place this uh, coming Saturday on the 20th of August. August 20, 2022 live over at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida, USA. Uh, event will be shown live on Showtime. When it comes to specifically this fight between uh, Kiriza, Kir, Chir Cousin and uh, Venegas, um, to my understanding, it won't be part of the pay-per-view. I mean, not that pay-per-view, the main card on Showtime, but it will be part of uh, most likely the event to be shown live here on YouTube by uh, Showtime and their official YouTube channel. Because some usually they do post it here on YouTube or they show it live here on YouTube. So before I talk about who I think will win, to those who don't know who Fyodor, your cousin is, he's a 26-year-old fighter from Poland, born in Ukraine, 19 and 0, 12 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Uh, he's coming off a win against uh, Gonzalo Gaston Correa. Uh, back in October of last year, most of his fights took place over in uh, uh, Poland. All of his fights took place over in Europe. This will be his American debut, his first fight in the United States of America. He is up there in the rankings. If we look at the super, I mean, if you look at the middleweight division right now, 160 pounds, Kirzakin Chirkazin is currently ranked number 12 by the IBF, number 14 by the WBC. So he's up there in the rankings. So it's a must-win fight for him if he wants to remain in his rankings. He's going in there against Gilbert Venegas Jr., a fighter from uh, Illinois. 11 wins, 1 loss, 7 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. There is footage of Venegas here, but that was like from 6 years ago. I don't know how good he is now. I'm sure he's probably improved. His one and only loss came from Kendo Castaneda back in 2018. He hasn't really been all that active. Uh, fought once in 2019. Hasn't fought since then. So, uh, um, you know, it makes me question how good he is. Uh, he used to fight at 147. This fight will be at 160. So, um, so, yeah, I'm assuming he's not as in shape as he used to be. Uh, so, you know, and looking back at the footage of him, he actually isn't that bad. Venegas, he's not that bad. Uh, but he's going in there against uh, Cherzak's Cher cousin who, will, you know, has a... A bunch of experience um not the best experience i'll say that but he's defeated all his opponents so far and watching footage of him i can see how he's undefeated he ain't that bad as well um but you know now here he is fighting the u.s and uh it'll be interesting to see how this one will play out but you know on paper i think chair cousin should be able to go out there and win this fight um you know I, I, it's hard to go against him at this moment him being a top 15 and uh him currently in a winning streak with the momentum in the, on his side 19 and no uh it's it's one of those fights for him to just um you know stay busy stay active get a win so that he can stay in those rankings and uh hopefully eventually fight uh, a top 15 in the near future so so looking forward to his american debut let me know what you guys think let me know your thoughts and comments thanks for listening and watching and like always have a great day all right Thanks. And I say uh, Cher Cousin either TKO in the late rounds or winning by wide decision. Seven rounds to two, eight, uh, seven rounds to one, or uh, six rounds to two. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.